I'm Corinne. Today, I'm going to Hollywood, our very own Polynesian film fest. I'm going to create a piece of art to submit for screening. But first, I need actors. Hi, I'm Sam, and I'd like to audition for the role of superhero. Super vasectomy man! Super move, the super job! Do you even know what a vasectomy is? No, but I'll find out later. And I get to rescue the beautiful Holly Smith. Up, up, and away! Hey, I'm Kalia, and I want to audition for the part of Bikey Chick, because today I check out Speedway Bikes. No brakes, no gears, no fears. <laughs> Excuse me? I don't need to audition for your amateur film. I am a professionally trained actor. I do emotional marathons every day. Call my agent, discuss a fee, and rewrite some of this rubbish. Meanwhile, I'm off to Waiwera to find out how mineral water comes out from the ground into the bottle. Technology. Waiwera water has been around for the last 200 years but it's only recently that they started bottling it and winning international awards. So what is mineral water? What's in it and how do they do it? Well, let's find out. This is Fraser Brown, one of the directors of Why Water Water. Fraser, thanks for having us. Hi, my pleasure. So what happens in here? Is this where the water comes out of the ground? Yeah, we're standing at the site of the original main bore. And so right there, that's where we draw the water for the hot pools out of the ground from, from the aquifer. The water that we bottle, comes from exactly the same source. What we've got is a, a geothermal artesian water, which means that it's chock a lot full of minerals. Now, I know the hot pools are very famous, but when did the idea of bottled water first come about? 1875 was the first year that we, we bottled the water. One of the oldest bottled mineral water companies in the world. Where does the water go to from here? The water that we take out of the ground for the bottling room, goes up through the pipe and it goes into the pre-treatment room, which we'll go and have a look at next before it goes into the bottling room. Sweet. Well, let's head over to the pre-treatment room. So what goes on in here? Well, this room's all about filtration. We've got a geothermal water, right, which means it's just full of minerals. So it's got a bit of a sulphur taste, right? So all it is is about taking that, those minerals that give it a bad taste and leaving the good minerals. So where does the water go to from here? Well, from here we go straight across there into the bottling room. Cool, let's check it out. So this is the first time the water's seen the light of day. Can I drink this? Not quite. What you're looking at there, those bubbles that you can see there, is ozone going into the water. That's our last, last, last kind of um, purification process. It takes 24 hours for it to totally evaporate out of the water, so you still can't drink that water for another 24 hours. Where's it going to from here? From here, it goes straight to the filling unit. This is where the water gets bottled. Now, I notice you've got a funky-shaped design bottle. Did you have to get a special machine specially designed for it? We had to modify it to be able to get the bottles to travel along the conveyor belt there, but it's worth it. Let's head to the end of the line. Cool. It's super quiet in here, so we better keep it down. So where are these bottles going to now? Well, these bottles are going around there. They're getting thrown in boxes, straight onto containers, taken out of the wharf and shipped all over the world. All right, well, all this water's making me thirsty. Is there anything that I could drink? I've got a perfect place for you to come and enjoy a bottle of the world's best water. That's what it takes to bottle award-winning New Zealand mineral water. A big thank you to Fraser and all the team at Waiwera. I bet they're so jealous of me back at the house, but finally, I get to try it. Why do men get it done? Why do I even need to know about this? Well, who better to ask than someone who's performed thousands of them? Dr. Gerald Young. Gerald. Hey, Sam. Nice to meet you, mate. Grab a seat. Thank you. 
A lot of people have different ideas on what vasectomy is. When I was 10 years old, my friend told me it was chopping off the testes. It's definitely not removing the testicles. That's called castration or neutering if you're a tomcat. One of the issues around vasectomy is you have to be sure that you've completed your family and that you do not want to have any more children. Vasectomy stops the sperm that's produced in the testicle from being able to get back inside the body and then out the penis when you ejaculate. And we just divide that tube. So and that's you can all it does. still ejaculate? Yep. Do men still feel like having sex after the procedure? Oh, yep, absolutely. Obviously, it still feels good. Well, that, of course, depends on how good you were before I did it. <laughs> I asking if you can play the piano after vasectomy. <laughs> what kind of men are getting vasectomies nowadays? Usually European male, age group 35 to 45, 40% 40 uh, will have vasectomy once they finish their family. So would you recommend to men out there have, to have a vasectomy? Absolutely. I've had one. Yeah? Yep, too right. Four kids, man. And how many vasectomies have you performed? I don't know, 6,000, 6,500. Well, I'd love to see some of the tools that you work with these days on how you perform vasectomies. Yeah, sure. Well, go and have a look. Cool. Oh. So this is your operating theatre? Yep. After we got the skin numb, we use this instrument. We just poke it through the skin, make a little hole, and then we hook the tube and pull it up and out like a loop of spaghetti. And then we can cut off a one to two centimetre piece. So that's how long you cut off? Yes, and we use this to hold the, hold the tube to stabilise it while we're dividing it. Mm -hmm. So there's one each side. Oh my god. All right. They actually do kind of look like pieces of spaghetti, but without the tomato sauce on it. So that is from someone's... Yep, yep that is a real piece of tube. And you, as you can see, you know, the hole is very, very small. Well, Gerald, I still don't really know if it's for me yet, but I'm going to go talk to someone who has had a vasectomy done. No, good on Thank you, Thank you for that. No problem. Thank yeah. you very much. I'm here with Arch McDonnell in his workroom here at In-House Designs, right, Arch? That's right. Just between you and I, you have had a vasectomy. Yeah. Yeah, and what was it like for you? Pain-free and interesting, and I sort of had quite a good time doing the whole thing, actually, to be honest. Uh, Were you nervous? Operate. I was initially a little bit, and then, you know, the medication took care of that. It was just like, woohoo, all right, let's, let's, let's do this, you know. <laughs> My wife, Jane, she came in and watched, and three nurses in there, Gerald and Jane, and <laughs> mirrors, and penises. And... Did you guys talk about it? You know, whose idea was it? It's kind of a joint decision. Uh, we had boy, girl, just felt right, you know, like there was this, that was yeah. our little unit, you know, and also it just took out the whole you know, contraception thing. Would you recommend um, vasectomies to... Well, totally. I mean, if it's not a scary experience, it's not that painful, and there's no kind of performance issues or anything, you don't have your manhood, mm. you know, screwed with or anything. Arch, thank you so much for talking to us Thanks, today. Sam. And thank you to Gerald for giving us an insight on what vasectomy is. It's not really for me, but it might be for you, so if you want to find out more, information is below. We'll see you guys back at the house. Bye. Sorry, let's go to the neighbor's house and take their fates. Ah, after this I want to go play pokey. Now I'm going to go to the church and pray for forgiveness. Ah, you are a beautiful daughter. When are you going to find a husband, hey? Sleep. <laughs> Damn. Cut! What do you like the girl? Rich. Cut! Michael, your line is after the break. Corinne goes to Hollywood and Kalia rides that. Well, that daddy, Mike, or she malolo, I'll record any Hollywood. Hey! Properly. You wanna go play on the route?